I had a friend tell me a few months ago that I needed to get in on the lithium boom. I needed to invest in a company called Core Lithium. Well, I didn't. I wasn't, hadn't done my research and I thought, you know what, I really need to research the hell out of this in order to invest money. Now, for me at the, at the moment, as you guys know, every little bit of money kind of counts, right? So anyway, I didn't invest. And since then, the stock price of Core Lithium has collapsed by nearly 85%. There is a reason for this collapse. In fact, many lithium miners, lithium companies that are publicly listed on stock exchanges are going into free fall. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Core Lithium is one of Australia's, well, it was one of Australia's great stories. This new mining company comes along and He's doing amazing things and everyone jumps on board and while well, the stock price hit a high of around $1.40. During the past 12 months, it was at a high of $1.20. It's now since fallen down to 20 cents. So yeah, about an 85% reduction in value. Now there is a reason for this happening and it's happening all across the industry. It's not just core lithium. Core Lithium has posted a $170 million loss for the last quarter and resignations are coming. The CEO has stepped down. Um, numerous high officers in the company have left. And Core Lithium actually halted production at their main lithium site in January. Now, they have a lithium mine near Darwin and they have projects in development in the Territory and South Australia. So they have various mines in development in Australia, but their main mine, they've just halted production. The reason for this, the price of lithium has fallen by more than 80% over the past year. Now, mining near Darwin was halted in January as the price of lithium fell, collapsed. This is, well, it's a good thing for us, getting electric cars, the, the cost to manufacture an EV has come down massively. It's great for Tesla, it's great for BYD. Uh, not so great for mining companies or for investors who jumped on the lithium or the lithium bandwagon, really, and I can see why people did. The company says that this fall is, um, well, it's because its ore stockpiles are still being processed. So it's basically mined too much lithium and it doesn't want to sell the lithium at crazy cheap prices, which is what's having what you're having to do today to compete. The parting chief executive, Gareth Manderson, told the Australian Stock Exchange uh, that he has put the business in the best position possible to weather the current market operations or the current market conditions. He actually came from Rio Tinto, which is one of the biggest mining companies in the world. And currently the business is very clearly in the midst of a restructure because of the dramatic decrease in the price of lithium. But here's the thing, is this an opportunity? I mean, have we hit the bottom? Now, I'm not gonna go and call the bottom because I can't legally. Uh, I'll get fined $400,000 if I try and do that and try and recommend you buy stock. I have no connection to this company whatsoever, but I'm thinking we might have hit the bottom. I don't see it going any further down from here. There's a lot of mining companies who are, have suspended production because of the very low price. A lot of them had new mines that just came out. So this, we had this huge influx of new mining sites producing more lithium. This pushed the price down. But I believe prices will rebound pretty sharply over the next couple of years. Chairman Greg English said Mr. Manderson joined CORE at a difficult time when the mine near Darwin was underperforming and the infrastructure was not complete. He has built a capable corporate and site team with a problem solving and continuous improvement mindset, the chairman said. The chief executive is not the only one leaving though. Non-executive director Andrea Hall resigned. Now, even right as I made this video, within the last 12 hours, the share price has continued to fall. I think it's got far to go from here. It's sitting at 20 cents. I really think, here's the thing. If you've been looking for an EV manufacturer, you're looking for the next Tesla. A lot of people have been looking for the next Tesla. A lot of people have lost hundreds of millions of dollars. They have even billions of dollars. Look how much people have lost investing in companies like Fisker, investing in companies like Nikola, investing in Rivian, investing in all these new companies and thinking, I'm going to be on the next Tesla. I want to make so much money and it doesn't happen. They lose money. Well, 
What are your thoughts? Is now the time to invest in lithium? Have we hit the bottom? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. <laughs>